We all have dreams in our lives, right? And it could be anything. The wife you're marrying, the woman you want to divorce, winning the lottery and never having to work again, taking care of homeless people, buy a bigger house or go on that one specific holiday. Whatever it is, we all have dreams. And, you know, they seem so far away so often. Now, dreams, they come from fantasies, right? You sleep and you dream. And your mind makes up these often so freaking weird fantasies. How you save the world, have sex with your son's school teacher, live in the house of your neighbors while your grandmom is, you know, mowing the lawn. And the beauty of dreams is that everything is possible. And, and it all seems so normal, so natural. Of course you had sex with your son's school teacher while living in your neighbor's house. I mean, how else would your grandma be able to mow the lawn, right? <laughs> right. Well, in dreams, it all became reality. And then it's a trick why they feel so nice. Because we can escape from reality for a while and live in a made-up world, a fantasy. Now, I'm not going into the whole why we dream theory, but, you know, I'm interested in, <clears throat> in, 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 in the dreams you have when you're awake. What is the biggest dream of your life? The I mean, the reason why we have dreams is to escape from reality for a minute, right? So to think of that big house you'd have or that supercar you'd drive or being on the stage in the Royal Albert Hall or hitting that home run in, I don't know, the Yankee Stadium. You could be pouring in the soup Christmas Eve for the, for the local homeless community, whatever it is. Now... I do wonder, because why is it a dream? Why isn't it something you already actually do? Because having a dream makes you feel happy in the moment, right? So what keeps you from pursuing the dreams you have? How small or big they are? What, 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 what keeps you from Going after that happy feeling of not only dreaming the dream, but actually living the dream. I've decided that I want to pursue my dreams. And I have plenty of them. But one of them is touching the lives of a million people within the next five years. Helping them to become a happier person. Is it a big dream? Yes. Am I going to succeed? Why not? Tony Robbins said it in one of his programs. It's better to aim for the stars and to miss than to aim for the mud and to hit it. So yes, dream the dreams you want. Make them big. Because that is what dreams are for. Make them seem unreal. But you know that when you dream them, they are real and then go take the necessary action to fulfill the dreams. A very good close friend of mine, she said, you know, there are three things you need to do. Dream it, wish it, do it. Dreaming makes sense. We dream all the time to create this mental picture in our minds for what, what we really, really, really want. I'd say, what keeps you from getting there? Why not going for that? It's the least you can ask from yourself. The moment I stop pursuing my dreams is the moment my life loses its purpose. So go get that dream and make your dreams come true. <laughs> I hope you have a great weekend. Make it great. I know I will. See you next week.